friends, welcome back to Toy Transformations. This is Shell with a video straight out of the upside down. I'm gonna show you how to transform these LOL surprise dolls into 11. Mike, Dustin, and Steve, some of our favorite characters from Stranger Things Season 3. So you definitely have to stick with me till the end because this video is gonna be interdimensional. Let's begin with Dustin, he is definitely one of my favorite characters. This LOL cap is gonna be perfect for him. Now, we need to use some clay to make his curly hair around the hat. And with our modeling tool, we're gonna give it that awesome curly texture. This is gonna look pretty realistic. Once the clay has dried, we're gonna give it some color. This chocolate brown is gonna look incredible. I think I like Dustin because he's super intelligent, don't you think? And with a tiny bit of pickle green acrylic paint, we're gonna paint the details of the cap. Like the bill on the sides, he's already looking just like in the show. Then let's finish up the details of the cap by painting the front part with some butter yellow acrylic paint. Do not leave a single blank spot. Next, let's use our ultra thin brush and a teeny tiny bit of acrylic paint to give his hair some neat highlights. Time to work on his outfit. With some murder clay, let's make his shorts. Weren't you guys surprised to find that Dustin's pet Darth was actually a demagorgon? And with two more strips of clay, we're gonna make his vest. I think he really rocks this style. It makes him look pretty original. Now that the clay has dried, we're gonna give him some color. For the vest, we're gonna use some of this denim blue acrylic paint. And for his shirts, let's use some of this olive green. Have you already finished watching Stranger Things Season 3? Don't worry, there will be no spoilers. For his neat orange tee, we only need to paint with a super thin brush the front part of his torso and the sleeves, just like this. And since this is an LOL doll that we used for a previous transformation, we need to cover up the details with some acrylic paint. For his socks, we only need to paint both of his feet with some arctic white acrylic paint, like so. Time to make one of my favorite accessories, his cool calculator watch. All we need to do is paint a thin black stripe around his wrist. And with this ultra thin permanent marker, we're gonna trace the pockets of his vest, just like this. Then we need to paint the details of his tee with the tip of our modeling tool and a tiny bit of arctic white acrylic paint. For his footwear, we're gonna use these LOL sneakers. We just need to paint them with a tiny bit of white acrylic paint. He's almost ready, friends. We just need to change the color of his size with some of this cool gray acrylic paint. Do you want to take a closer look? And here we have him, guys, the awesome Dustin Henderson. He's definitely just like in the show. You let us in. And now... Just look at all the details of his hair, and his hat, and his vest. Our next transformation is gonna be the super handsome Steve Harrington. Let's start by making that awesome hair that drives all the girls crazy. And the boys too. Use your modeling tool to give it some texture. Don't you think it was pretty sweet of him when he gave Dustin some advices for the school dance? Then we need to paint his hair. Let's use some of this chocolate brown acrylic paint. Make sure to spread it out evenly. And with some of this metallic gold acrylic paint, we're gonna give his hair some highlights. Just a few gentle strokes like these ones will do. Since this is a doll we transformed previously, his face is a little stained, so let's cover up all those ugly details with a tiny bit of acrylic paint. Then it's time to work on his outfit. We're gonna make the sailor uniform that he wears at the Scoops Ahoy ice cream shop, starting with the shorts. And with some more dry clay, we need to make his shirt. Use your modeling tool to trace the details of the color, just like this. Time to give his outfit some color. This awesome shade of azure blue will make him look just like in the show. And don't forget about the shirt, paint it with some blue as well. Make sure you don't leave a single blank spot. With the tip of our modeling tool, we're gonna paint that cute red tie that all the employees of the Scoops Ahoy wear. Then let's keep adding some more details. With a tiny bit of white, we're gonna paint the strips that go around the color of the shirt. I think that this sailor uniform makes him look a little darky, but he's still super handsome, don't you think? And with some more of the Arctic white, we're gonna paint a thin trim around his waist. He's beginning to look pretty cool. Next, we need to paint the pockets on the cool stripes that are on the shirts, just like these guys. For the socks, just paint the feet white. Have you seen Parks and Recreation? Most people say that Steve looks just like John Ralphia from that other show. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. 
And next, we're gonna use this yellow little sneakers for him. But first, let's paint them with a tiny bit of candy apple red. Then, paint a thin white trim around the soles of the sneakers, just like these guys. Something that cannot be missing in his outfit is his sailor hat, so we're gonna make it with some metallic clay. Model it with your fingers, like so. And then paint it with some arctic white. Don't you guys think that Steve was super brave at the ending of the second season? Then we're gonna use our ultra thin brush to paint the word ahoy in the top part of the hat. How adorable! Steve is almost ready, friends. We just need to change the color of his eyes with some brown. Try not to paint the pupils or the white parts. Wow, if you think that Steve from the show is pretty good looking, then this Steve is pretty adorable. It's building something. No matter what happens, we have to stop him. Together. He's totally your Ralphio's twin brother. Our next transformation is gonna be my favorite character from the entire series. That's right, the super powerful Eleven. So let's start by giving her a new hairdo. Use a modeling tool to trace a few lines along her head. This will make her hair look pretty realistic. Then we can paint her hair with some chocolate brown acrylic paint. Make sure you don't leave a single blank spot, guys. And with our ultra thin brush and some metallic gold acrylic paint, we're gonna give her hair some highlights. Her hairdo is gonna be inspired in the one she wears in this new season. Time to start working on her outfit. Let's make that adorable jumpsuit she wears. We only need to cover her entire torso area with some of the legs and arms as well. Once it looks like this, we need to paint it with some jet black acrylic paint. I really like Elle's new look, friends. She looks gorgeous. Now we need to paint all the sweet details. Remember, it's the 80s, so it must be colorful. So let's start by drawing some shapes with white. Then a few cute accents with some of this neat rose acrylic paint. Then some cute yellow dots. You only need to tap gently with your thin brush. And then some cute green dots. Wow, this outfit looks totally retro. I simply love the 80s fashion. It looks amazing. Do you like it? Tell me in the comments below. Now we can paint her cute little socks. All we need to do is cover both of her feet with some arty wet acrylic paint. For her footwear, we're gonna paint this cute pair of LOL sneakers with a tiny bit of jet black acrylic paint. Eleven is almost ready, friends. We only need to change the color of her eyes with some of this mocha brown. Come with me to see the final results. Wow, Eleven looks simply amazing. We need to end this. I can fight. Better than any of us. But I need you safe. What the hell? She looks exactly like in the show with that awesome new hairdo and that super tight colorful jumpsuit. The last transformation of the day is gonna be the cool Mike, so we need to begin by making his neat bowel cut with some murder clay. Use a modeling tool to give it some texture. You can pull the clay like this to make it look a little wavy. Once the clay has dried, we're only gonna paint his hair with some coffee brown acrylic paint. Make sure you spread it out evenly. Then we need to cover up the details of our previous transformation with some acrylic paint. And now we can start working on his outfit. First, we need to make his shorts with a little bit of our dry clay. Shape it with your modeling tool like so. Next, let's use some more clay for his short sleep shirt. You can trace the details of the color on the bottom with your modeling tool. Time to give his outfit some color. We're gonna use some of this butter yellow acrylic paint for this shirt. I think it's pretty sweet how Mike cares so much about Elle. They are so cute! And great for the sharks. I love how they're always hanging at Mike's basement playing Dungeons and Dragons. They remind me of that 70s show. Now it's time to add the details of the shirt. With an ultra thin brush and a teeny tiny bit of white, we're gonna add some super thin stripes to the top front part. Then let's add a few red accents with the tip of our modeling tool and some candy apple red acrylic paint. Next, we're gonna cover both of his feet with some white acrylic paint. This is gonna be for his socks. And with an ultra fine permanent marker, we need to paint three thin stripes on his socks, just like this. Then paint these shoes with some dead black. They're gonna look just like the ones Mike were seeing the show. And with the tip of our modeling tool, we're gonna add the details of the shirts. Just a couple of thin lines like these ones will do. All we gotta do now is paint both of the eyes with some chocolate brown acrylic paint. Are you guys ready to see the final results? Here we have the super cool Mike Wheeler. I 
saying that he looks exactly like in the show with those details of the shirt on the shorts. Don't you think, friends? And that was it for today, guys. Here we have our awesome characters from Stranger Things Season 3, coming right at you from the upside down. First, we have Steve. Just look at his scoop Sahoy uniform, he looks incredible. Then we have Eleven rocking that super retro and colorful outfit, she's gorgeous. Next to her is Mike. I think that my favorite part about him was his shirt. And finally, we have Dustin, my favorite transformation of the day, he's adorable. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more fantastic transformations. Don't forget to give us a like and we love you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.